Madison Square Garden, the 33rd Intercity Golden Gloves, with top amateurs of New York and Chicago mixing it up. Cassius Clay of Chicago challenges Gary Joyce, the Eastern heavyweight champ, and Joyce is in trouble from the first round on. It's a TKO decision for Cassius Clay, and more points for the Windy City team, which wins 12 bouts out of the card of 16, sponsored by the News Welfare Association. For the Louisville boy, Cassius Clay, in the dark trunk, is pitted against the All-Army champion, Alan Hudson. Hudson is the Pan American uh, title holder, while Clay is the reigning Eastern Regional champion. As this next to the last fight of the evening gets underway, the fans, who have yet to see any of the bouts stopped by a KO, are clamoring for some explosive action. It looks as if they'll get their wish. Two rights by Hudson set up play for a hammering left that belts him to the canvas. Cases is up almost immediately, and after a check by the ref, he's back in action. Now it's time to turn the tables. After a brief flurry by Hudson, it's Clay's chance to go to work. He waves into Hudson and sends him reeling into the corner. Hudson is really groggy and just about out on his feet. Clay's arm is raised in victory, but Hudson's down again this time just because his legs won't hold him up. That doesn't bother Allen. He'd still like the fight to go on are only three rounds and Clay falls behind, confused by his opponent's southpaw style. Gradually, he finds his rhythm and uses his superior quickness to dominate the final round. The decision is unanimous. Clay is 18 years old and the proud owner of a gold medal. A job is police chief of Fayetteville, West Virginia. Clay wins in six rounds. Clay is a gym rat, an exceptionally hard worker, but still, his trainer, Archie Moore, is a bit too... He's on the sport of pugilism. As an amateur in 1960, he won the AAU light heavyweight, the Golden Gloves heavyweight, and the Olympic light heavyweight crowns. As a professional, he has won all 10 bouts, scoring seven knockouts. Lucian Sonny Banks is 21 years old. In 12 starts, Banks has won 10, scoring nine knockouts. Round one, 10 rounds scheduled. Clay in the white trunks and Banks in black. Clay is the most loquacious heavyweight since Jack Sharkey. He's ranked ninth by Ring Magazine. Banks is unranked. Young Clay already has many of his signature Banks skills. The jitterbug footwork, the stinging jab, the machine gun flurries of punches, the uncanny knack for dodging blows. But against Sonny Banks, he shows off one more gift, an iron jaw. Ruby Ghost in the referee. than his featherweight-like flourishes. It is his bravado and his outrageous antics that set him apart. No fighter has ever had the nerve to call the round of his next knockout. Clay is ready to fight his most impressive opponent so far, his former trainer, Archie Moore. Well, I realize that Archie's a great fighter. Archie is a great old fighter. But Beating his trainer. But the thing was that Muhammad had 16 fights, Archie Moore like a 213 fights. And the age of the old mongoose was always a secret, but I think he was in his 40s, middle 40s. 
maybe late 40, but nobody ever knew how old Archie Moore was. But the speed and the steadiness really took its toll on Archie. I think the people were impressed with it because they figured kid with 16 fights, how can he overcome all that experience? And again, Clay celebrates. He's having trouble getting to his feet. He's up. Clay ready to come in and finish the show. A left again. Wild left hooks and he's down. Down for a third time. The former light heavyweight champion. Clay is 16 and 0 when he wins in the fourth, just as he predicted. By now, the 20 year old has his gaze firmly on heavyweight. And as at this minute, it is now official. Well, annihilation is on. I'm so happy. Let's get it on. Want to go there? I want to be there. The crowd ain't big enough yet. Yeah. Uh, Paul Collins was so scared, he couldn't even walk. Man, I ain't scared. I come to your house at 2 o'clock in the morning looking for you. I ain't scared of nobody. You're going to be a heart. It's going to take a good man to whoop me. You can look at me. I'm loaded with confidence. I can't be beat. I had 180 amateur fights, 22 professional fights, and I'm pretty as a girl. <laughs> Cassius Clay on the move as we see, looking to get Sonny to lunge, carrying his left hand dangerously low. Well, the bell rings, Liston comes in, Liston comes at him. Liston had a pretty good jab. Liston had the kind of jab that, unlike Ali's, it wouldn't cut you, but it'd give you a hell of a headache, it'd rock your head back like that. No, but he's Liston. chasing. And, and, and Ali is moving backwards. And when it first happens, we think he's afraid. He's, you know, we don't realize that he is doing the most single important thing you can do when a boxer fights a puncher. He is determining the geography of the fight. And when boxer fights puncher, whoever determines the geography is the guy that's going to win the fight. Cassius, awkwardly fast. Good long left lead that might keep the champion a bit off balance. Very slippery. Play still in the danger zone in that he's keeping his hands low, but you'll notice one thing if you don't mind, he's at long range with the hands low. We're halfway through round one. They might be stopping it. That might be all, ladies and gentlemen. Get up there, Joe. Get up there. Get up in the ring. Suddenly, Ali breaks free, and he runs to the side of the ring at the presses. And he jumps up on the ropes. And I'll never forget it. He's saying, I fooled you, and I fooled you, and I fooled you, and I fooled you. I'm the greatest, I'm the best. All right, he had too much confidence there. Lifting play up. Where is he making that speech? Over in the neutral corner. Over in the neutral corner. Get him back here. Or get him over there if you can. He's throwing kisses to everybody. Have him busting out here. Wait, I don't have a mark on my face. Yeah. And I upset son in this one, and I just turned 22 years old. I must be the greatest. I told the world. I talk to God every day. This guy's written the came over out of here against me, Sonny. I shook up the world. 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 You must listen to me. Round number one. They score the fight here on a 10-point must scoring system in Maine. We're waiting for that bell for round one. Here we go. You'll note that Cassius wants to stay out in the center of the ring where, where he happens to be the king. and 
in the dark trunks is chasing that man straight away. Is that a mistake? Here up a right hand shot that you saw. That was the best punch thus far landed by the champion. First round that Sonny is, is shooting mostly, although he's going to the head now, mostly toward that body. You know the old story, you kill the body and the head might follow. dancing gracefully around the ring. His quickness enables him to hold his hands very low, since he defends not by blocking punches, but by dodging them. Bobbing, weaving, ducking, twisting, backing away, Ali has a dozen techniques to avoid a devastating blow by a mere inch. And his opponents can never get comfortable in the ring, since they've never seen anyone like him. Ever the performer, Ali keeps inventing new ways to dazzle and amaze. The first round ends without Ali throwing a single punch. Ali's domination of Patterson is total, established early in the fight. He toys with the challenger, not pressing the attack to knock him out, but rather backing off at critical moments. It's over. Mercifully, it's over. Ali, successful for the second time in defending his title. 